to uh, a virtual presentation on virtual presentation. Um, we're going to look today at uh, Google Earth Web, and in particular at the enhancements that uh, George Williams and I have made about Google Earth Web uh, presentations. Um, I think that uh, many of you are familiar with uh, Google Earth, uh, Google Earth Desktop, or Google Earth Pro, various versions. Um, Increasingly, Google is actually moving to the web version, which is the browser-based version, uh, because it doesn't have all the download uh, requirements and the very large uh, files that have to be, uh, um, uh, that take over a lot of the um, CPU time of the computer. So the bottom line is it's all moving to this uh, the Google Earth web environment. And that's actually a very nice, powerful uh, uh, program, because what you can do is you can just identify places you want to go and then add some information at the places you want to go. So you can add an image, uh, you can uh, uh, um, add some text uh, to it. So you can see it on the side, I did it on the left here. You can basically rather quickly uh, insert things. You can add multiple images, not unlimited, but multiple images and, and have any text to go with that. And that is actually a very powerful, quick way to give people a tour of, of the world. But um, there is actually a little hidden part in this, uh, in this program that uh, little these little buttons three buttons there if you click on that you can actually change what you see by using html to force a very different appearance of this program that's what we're going to talk about uh, in the next uh, several slides that's what we're going to show you in the next uh, several slides we go forward and the way that um, uh, we do that with uh, is, is two pathways uh, one is called geo trips and one is called geo explorations and the main thing to take away from this is that in in, in geo trips we take over this information panel from Google Earth Web. In other words, we allow ourselves to put more stuff in that one. And later on, we'll see that geo explorations takes, goes one step uh, farther. We'll get to it later on. I also use these QR codes if you want to sort of uh, uh, check it out as I talk. Um, and uh, that gives you uh, the immediate access to those particular things in there. And what motivated us was we wanted to add, uh, it actually all started with having voiceovers. We wanted to do a field trip with what you see in a field trip. So we used the voiceover part. And as we went along, we got sort of a little crazy. We added all kinds of other things. We can now insert videos. We can insert the street view uh, in addition to the to the, the large scale screen, giga pans from other people. You can put captions in the images, which is what we always tell people that you need to tell them what you see, but also where you got it from. Um, but also the text that we add now can be have images in there. Uh, this is obviously a very simple one, but there's more images in there. But it also can be hot links. So there's hot links that we can also add to that. So students can click on it and it moves on to, to new layers. And in doing so, we can have also built activities you can put in there by telling them where to go for certain types of activities. And so this whole range of these activities suddenly was made available by us taking over this space that is given by um, by uh, um, taking that particular panel. And I just wanted to show you uh, the GeoTrips as an example of, of, of how we did uh, what we did. And this is a stop on a field trip in, in, in Maryland, a very famous one called Sidling Hill. And um, the big difference was that, yes, obviously, we, you could have a picture there and a little text. But really, what we were able to do is to use this, um, uh, the, the original file, but use this option right over here to edit. And as we edit, we are then go to this panel right over here, which is an HTML link, and we completely change what's in there. No longer just a few words, we're putting entire HTML code in there. And that HTML code it drives what we see uh, on the screen. So the panel that you see on, on the right side is, it has the only thing that shows up in this particular one is, is the word uh, play, uh, but that it have all this functionality built in there because we actually have this, this code that we can work with. Well, obviously, uh, you immediately glaze over probably already because you think, well, I don't need to, I'm not going to write code, it's too much work. And so we wrote a blog whereby we highlight how to do this. And the takeaway message is you do not want to do the, all the HTML coding, you just want to replace what you want to show, the picture, the titles, a few words. You have to know none of the other things, all these other commentaries, all the other lines of text are meaningless uh, unless you want to change more things, but they are really uh, allow you just to insert the highlighted part. So you can go to this uh, QR code there and actually uh, figure out what, uh, uh, what the code is that's to it. And you can just insert what you want, copy and paste it in and voila, it would work just perfectly fine. And so the way to do that, of course, is to take yourself some time to actually do this and to click Get your phones, get your, your cell phone, uh, get your camera out and click on the QR code and uh, have a look at what uh, this particular uh, field trip can do.
Okay, and we're back. Now, what we actually wanted to add was to get more functionality in the system. In other words, we already told you we take over the info panel. There is also a way to do what everybody really likes to see is to take over the other side of Google Earth web that is the actual globe area. And so we built this explorations part, which takes over in addition to the info panel, the, the middle panel over here, it also takes over the entire area that we see on, on, on the globe. And again, I'll give you a QR code to, uh, to see for this particular one with the geology of the, of the US. And I'll walk you quickly through some examples. Now, this is a more involved, you build it out a little bit more complicated. There's more steps in this one. Um, I just wanna show you what we can do. Um, the nice thing is we build in sliders in this routine. We actually made it a, a much more user friendly. So because we spent all this coding, we might as well make it a little bit more involved. But the bottom line is we can add all kinds of information, volcanoes, falls, earthquakes, plate boundaries. Um, and we can turn these things on and off as we want to uh, with these overlays. We can put geologic maps on there. We could also put um, um, hot linked state geologic map. So this is the, this is the map of, of Pennsylvania that sits on top of that. And we can actually use that. You can see the list of the maps right over here, but you can use that to query that map. You can click on it and it gives you the information for that particular query of, of that map. And so it's hot linked now as, 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 as you go forward in this way, because we've taken over the globe space as well. Um, you can have real time data sets that feed in your earthquake map. Uh, we put an overlay on that because we can, uh, which is the, the seismic risk map. But then all these little buttons there, the little circles are just the USGS recording of earthquakes, which again is hot links where they are. And you can add all kinds of other things to this as well, the faults and the like, as you play with it becomes quite straightforward what you can do with that. But it's hot link, meaning you can directly also go to the USGS website and get for that particular event, the information that you, uh, that you want as, as you go forward. So have a look, have a try, try it. So hopefully you clicked on uh, the QR code and, and, and play with that a little bit later on. I just have in the remaining two minutes that I have, I want to show you that now this opens in a huge uh, range of opportunities now that we built an, a, an environment that both gives us information panels and that also gives us the overlay that I have on, on these maps. And the project, and it plays by itself, the project that uh, I just wanted to highlight is something that's another poster that we have, but it gives you the sense of like, wow, you can really build working modules that students can really query and maybe even faculty. It's a project that I've done with Chris Cotese on a paper that just came out a few weeks ago, a couple of weeks ago, whereby we looked at uh, a paleogeography as a way to teach about uh, tectonics. And I just want to show you what you can then do with Google Earth Web to make that also an environment whereby it's completely is different. You can see right over here, we drape the plate boundaries on top of the current plates. We can add all kinds of other things. We can add the, the age of the seafloor. We can drape that over that in that particular way. Uh, we can start to drape entire new paleo geographies on those maps, as you can see in the paleo atlas that we show in this particular one um, uh, as an example here. And you can click on these various radio buttons to see what the different configurations are uh, in those particular times. Um, we also added animations that help people to see from the uh, paleo globe what actually is the evolution with time. And so these are little animations right over here about uh, some are some between one and three or four minutes. Uh, and we explain a bit about these concepts in there. But the point is it becomes a learning module and now Google Earth Web uh, can really help you to to move forward in the in, in the experience of having students and for that matter instructors work with this information and actually make use of that uh, that particular data so um here are the um, i'll take myself off here are the um uh, the, the qr codes again that uh, i'll leave up and then you can actually um, um, um answer and you play around with these various things and you'll find out that it actually is not that hard to, to do these things yourself. We have multiple other modules in various stages of completion. Uh, once you have this setup of Google Earth Web, you can really develop instructional activities. You can also do research activities in that same way. So I hope this will be useful for you to, uh, as you transfer from the desktop version, which will be less used with time to this Google Earth Web version, it gives us that same functionality and a, and a lot of uh, easier way to work, including your phone. <laughs>